Jackie posted this video, this picture of her sister in Dubai. Ironing her mask. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I said, and the quote was, uh, a wrinkled mask is so embarrassing. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. Uh, <laughs> now, don't get like, me wrong. I have crumbs on my mask. <laughs> I mean, I have, so. like, blood on my mask. <laughs> that, but you just know that that means she walks around town just being like, mask. A a you're poor. Mask. Uh, you I, fucking, I respect I respect that. Meanwhile, Jack, I, I now think a wrinkled mask is garbage. I will continue wearing them because I sure. have plenty of things I think are garbage, but I will judge other people. And Jackie's, like, sleeping on the floor of her workplace in chicken pants. <laughs> While her sister's at home, like, gotta get them. Although... Masks inherently have the wrinkles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like it does. It does. You can't get rid of the wrinkles. I, I said the comparison to her headphones, Jackie's headphones, where she can't oh, wear them too because tangled, yeah, it's so tangled. tangled up. And then you know what happened though? She just forgot them because she just stole my AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. I know you have my fucking AirPods. If you don't come back from Dubai with my AirPods, you're fucking dead to me. <laughs> All right, we got the KFC Radio Blade bet for the month of March. Meaning, uh, whoever loses this bet, they have to shave their face. Completely clean with a razor and shaving cream, something neither of us have done since we learned that we got a fat face. <laughs> so it, it's probably been over a decade. Yeah, I've, yeah, I have not put a blade to my face in at least ten years. So it's based on KFC Radio YouTube subscribers. One week I push the channel, the next week he pushes it back and forth, so on for the month, and whichever person uh, is responsible for the most subscribers is safe. Whoever gets the least subscribers has to shave their face clean. So. Just got a graphic from Nick. Day one, I got 402 subscribers. Day two, March 2nd, I got 330. Today, March 3rd, is still TBD. So as of right now, 732 new subscribers. I don't know what to compare it to because Fights hasn't gone yet, but... I'm feeling like I seven like 432 on the first announcement. I got the Shane Gillis episode in my back pocket. That was a nice <laughs> little bump for for me because I'm sure people were subscribing to that. But I feel like if I if I get pushed like a thousand in a week, like we'd be happy with getting a thousand subscribers a week, putting up 50k a year. I think I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. We have to see what Final Bird does. I caught him like whispering to you guys into the camera before Friday Night Pints, and I was like, all right, this motherfucker has something big planned. So I don't know, man. I'm nervous. I, I, the first week could either go well or, like, fights could come up with some shit and blow me out of the water. My, my thing here, and I don't want fights to hear or, or, or know this, I'm going to – I don't want to bombard people too early. We got, we got a long way to go, and I don't want people to, be, to people to be too, you know, annoyed by this. So I'm just asking and plugging in the right appropriate place, and then I'm going to have to come up with some sort of big, like, ba-bow. Uh, yo, uh, Kevin Clancy Show, what's your name, where you from, what you got for me? There's something about doing it live, and it's not, like, I was jokingly being like, hey, I'm live, or like, I might get canceled for something I say, because there is that element where it's like, you can't take it back, but there's something about the standard of material, if you're doing live versus if you're doing a regular podcast, like, when I'm recording at home, I'm like, is this, is this a good enough topic to do a podcast on, is this... Can I dive in deep enough? But when, when you're doing it live, it's just like, what's happening today? People want to just hear, like, what's going on today? And then it becomes much more, like, regular conversation. Sort of like when you're sitting with your friend, and it's like, did you hear this? Have you heard that story? Did you see that video? So it was fun to, like, rip through topics and then, and then uh, do the calls. Live calls are always a trip, too. So, I, honestly, in a perfect world, I, I wish I could do that five days a week and then have a best of be the podcast. Whether or not I can pull it off with all the other shit we're doing, Probably unlikely, but that would be the goal for this. Dude, Walking up steps is the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Girls so you're are good. Steps are just nuts. I, I can't keep the rhythm. Girls are good at Because they all yeah. work on their ass constantly. Yes, they all do the step I have no ass. We all have a White guy's got nothing. I got a step up. He doesn't have to get pants that step are bigger than his waist because yeah. of his ass. I have like a fat ass. I have an ass like a black woman. It's yeah. weird to me that white dude with a fat ass. Hey, Kate! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I said, don't get me wrong. Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
like... You were on live during it? Yeah, we're live. Look, here's Mikey Pass. What's going on? So you just call... I'm live right now. You guys are on another show. I'm live on the Man Mafia right now. This is Mikey Pass. How you guys doing? Um, I was doing a live here. Feidelberg just walked in behind the camera and threw up. Right in the garbage? <laughs> right in front of us. We caught it on live. What happened? <laughs> he just started throwing up. For what? <laughs> I have no idea. I think he, he said moldy cum. Yeah, uh, moldy cum. cum. Yeah. Moldy cum made him throw up? Yeah. Pass, sure. Tico, oh, Tico, what's yeah. up? How we doing? Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess so. How you doing, Tico? What's cracking? What's cracking? Look at me and Clancy on camera for the first time yeah. since I got hired in October. Cause he fucking hates me, mm. and he never thought this was gonna fucking happen. Yo, you should, uh, <laughs> I drink tequila, not fucking cords. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we know that. Well, let's fucking do it. Oh, y'all know that? Y'all know yeah. that? Your attitude. You're drunk right now. Were you at the holiday party? Cause then maybe. You Damn, you work here? <laughs> Tico and Tommy Pope are a combustible duo, let's say that. When Tico, like, officially crashed it and was doing her, like, Tico shtick, I saw the look on Tommy's face. He does that De Niro, like, a, what are you doing? What, are you, what is this? What are you doing? I was like, we better end this before Tommy says something. You can't, you know? Uh, I mean, Tico's all up in me, on me. She wants to chug. She's spilling. She's trying to basically hold me hostage and like guilt me into going on her show. It's just one of those things where it's like, I, how about, I, how are we co-workers? How did this happen? How did we get here? God damn it. You guys gotta do your podcast now? Can I do it? Yeah, it's just YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> That'll help. It makes it so easy. <laughs> I enjoy. That's probably the best part of watching a lady eat ass. Yeah. What a disgusting, <laughs> shameful act. <laughs> Against God's will. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man, it's a mistake. <laughs> this is a mistake. Gip, Gillis had a couple beers. Gillis, realistically, I was saying he had like 15. He was like, nah, man, I'm on like nine. So he finished at 12. But the problem is... At least six of those were piggybacks. And piggybacks are six are eight percent alcohol. So that's two for one right there. So if six of those were times two, that means twelve. Four other seltzers, beers, whatever else. You're looking at like a man podcasting like 15, 16 drinks deep. That you want to talk about like going live and, and you know risking it all. Gillis podcasting with, you know, a baker's dozen in them. He was starting to let it fly, and even he knew. He was like, okay, all right, we got we to gotta wrap it up here. I'm going to get myself in trouble. But that man, he's, he's officially up there on my list of people I fucking hate because they are so goddamn naturally funny. It's like Chrissy D and Soder and, and Gillis where it's just like their regular conversation, their regular banter is, is like, feels like uh, honed stand-up material. Like everything they say is... The timing, the delivery, the material, it's all fucking hysterical. And then you get some beers in him, you get some piggybacks in him. I mean, he was he was rolling. That was a podcasting clinic right there. All right, this week's comment of the week comes from Kellen Key from last week's vlog. Fights was eyeing that sandwich and just couldn't contain himself. He almost finished. He only had like nine more words. When you got to eat, you got to eat. We hadn't eaten all day and we had to run to the train. So had to eat while throwing up a promo. Uh, leave your comments. Best comment of the week will be featured here. Honestly, I think it's fair to say that out of every show and every franchise, nobody crams more into every week than KFC Radio. Just look at the past couple weeks. We dropped new pairs of sneakers. We dropped multiple live shows. We had Mark Wahlberg, Boys Week. This week we had Shane Gillis, Tommy Pope, Chris O'Connor. We had uh, we switched over Kevin Clancy's show to uh, live on YouTube. We didn't ask me anything. We're on sale in Philly, Boston, soon to be Chicago. Uh, non-stop here at KFC Radio, and that's what these vlogs capture every week. So if you want to keep catching our behind-the-scenes action, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any vlogs. Make sure you click the bell icon so you get any updates when these videos drop. And make sure you like and comment. Tell your friends. KFC Radio Vlog every week on Saturday.